to Seat Story Cup number four, day three, where we are in the winner's match of Group A. It's going to be Frodan versus Orange. I am joined by Ekop and Alish, who just spilled a drink on himself. No, I spilled He's spilled it on me. On oh, he spilled it on, on you? Yeah. On Ecop, yeah. Ouch. It was just the water, though, so it's all right. It's all he's right. not even drunk, and he spills drinks already. <laughs> I'm clumsy, what can I say, right? I'm Never lucky. Know. All right, so can uh, Orange take down Froden, or is he just, like, too strong right now? I mean, Froden is on fire. He's just taking out everyone, left and right. It's 3 0 first, first he beat Thais, 3 0. Now he's going to beat the uh, the previous East Third Cup winner pretty easy. It would That's be my pretty prediction sick. right now. But Orange is like uh, on top of the RNG hill right now. Yeah, I mean, I mean, you saw that boom bot last, like in the first series, right? That of course, sick. you can't spell Orange without RNG, right? <laughs> yeah, I guess that's true. I mean, that's that's the meme, right? <laughs> that is the, the meme. meme. <laughs> All right, so uh, the mysterious challenger, man. So strong for Frodan. I mean, he 3 0 Tice with just the Paladin, right? Wasn't that it? I think he played Secret Paladin. I think that was it, yeah. Yeah, yeah I, mean, I mean, the deck is pretty good, right? Against Thais, he had something like uh, Doctor 5 into Doctor 6 with a coin, right, obviously. Yeah. So um, if you have that kind of curve, you're usually winning, I would say. So seems pretty good. Yeah, does hurt a lot. Okay, so before we get into that match, uh, let's just jump into the raffle that we're having right now. So if you just go to facebook.com slash take TV, uh, you will get to this lovely site here. And then you will see this button right here, the Seat Story Cup 4 raffle. Just click that, and you can see the awesome prizes that you can get. If you do participate, it's two Maxonomics gaming chairs from Need for Seat that you can get. Awesome design right there. 50 Hearthstone packs from Kinguin, and uh, two Hearthstone Ultra hoodies, of course. You can win all that by simply just filling in your name, your country, and your email address. So once again, that's facebook.com slash take TV. And then, yeah, just fill in your information and, uh, yeah, win, basically. It's free, so just do it. Why not? Just do it, indeed. Don't let your memes be dreams. Damn, the exclamation mark raffle, man. It'll never stop. <laughs> <laughs> Kappa pride. Kappa pride, Doesn't indeed. Doesn't work at that. So, this match, uh, Froden versus Orange. I mean, Froden had a really, really huge winning streak, like, this tournament, right? He's 3-0. Be he beat uh, names like Oskaka. No, 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 he didn't beat Oskaka. He beat uh, Thais. Thais. He beat... Uh, yeah, who's the second person he beat? There was somebody really strong as well. Uh, Actually, I actually have the groups here, so I can tell you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was it JJ or Show? It was, it was a Show. I show, think. okay, yeah. Uh, was it? No, it was no. JJ. Oh, it was JJ, yeah. It was uh, Super JJ and Dice and, yeah. yeah. Like, and then Ignite in the and Ignite, previous exactly. match. So, they definitely, definitely a really strong showing here. And he's going to continue if he plays Hunter here, I think. Uh, I mean, Hunter, Smork, go face and you're pretty good. Go face and you're good. All right. So Hunter versus Hunter, and it seems that way that uh, Froden is probably playing some mid-range version, or maybe even like phase Hunter, but I think low tap indicates that it could be the mid-range most likely. Well, it's like a hybrid Hunter, as you can see. Uh, I like, mean hybrid, yeah, hybrid. Yeah, there's, there's the phase elements with the uh, Leprano Warg and Argent Horse Rider. Maybe it's like pure phase Hunter too. Like uh, Often we see uh, low tap be, uh, played in phase Hunter as well. Uh, it will all come down if we like see high main uh, or Doctor Boom or something like that. Did they actually it's say hybrid hunter or face hunter? Yeah, I said mid range. Okay, I'm sorry. I wanted to say hybrid, obviously. Oh, that's rip, fine. Rip, 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 rip. I just woke up, you know, like half an hour ago. So <laughs> really, <laughs> Still sleepy. Yeah. It's okay, Alish. We forgive you. We forgive okay. you. So yeah, on the other side, uh, Orange has a two drop, but I think you go here with Mess Scientist, right? You have to, right? Yeah. I mean, there's no other play, really. Mm -hmm. Just taking his time. I mean, Orange obviously uh, coming off that win uh, from the last Seed Story Cup. So the defending champion, the last match he played versus Oskaka was actually like the previous final. Yeah. Right. So he took him down. It was also the yeah, matchup of like the world champion versus the previous Seed Story champion. So pretty cool right there. Orange okay. obviously taking that. Okay. So I was actually sleeping, but have you seen already some new cards? Uh, yes, some. I, th I think we saw we saw Torch for sure. Mm -hmm. Did we see Reno Jackson yet? I don't think so. I don't know. Yeah. I, I wasn't watching. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think like Reno Jackson, the problem with the cards to bring into the tournament uh, right after it comes out is that like you're like you kind of think it's strong, but like you're not really sure. Yeah. You know. Um, so exactly. it's it's pretty hard to take it without testing. And if, yeah, in effect, like Reno Jackson, which is so unique, um, it has never been. Um, in the game before, it, it needs some testing. Like so, a lot of players will probably be unsure whether it's good or not, so they weren't, did not want to take the risk. 
Yeah, that's true. I, I know that some people are bringing it, though. I can tell you that much. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to see it as well. Yeah. A lot of a lot of people are hyped for Reno, for sure. I mean, I've seen a lot of streamers already playing it. Pretty much everyone, actually. What do you play it in Freeze Mage? Protection. You can play it anywhere, like in any type of control deck, I think. It's very good at Handlock, I think. Um, I think, like, Strife Girl was playing it on, with Handlock, and Life Coach was playing it in Handlock. Yeah, they, they tried they... like decks that actually only had one of each card. Mm -hmm. So they didn't even want to take the risk of uh, ever not getting the full health back. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay, I, mean, I mean, if you want to go for Rena Jackson, the handlock is probably going to be the best one to go with, right? Like Because you have that hero power that you can draw cards. Huh. So, I mean, even if you don't have duplicates of the cards, you're going to be more likely to actually draw those one copies. So, that sounds pretty good. It does. So, uh, looking under this game, uh, we do see the board on the side of orange. Pretty good. There's that shredder. Yeah, and another good way for uh, for Odin to <laughs> beat that board right now. All you can do is put some shredder in the way of this board in order to like trade with those minions. But in the meantime, those minions will be doing a lot of face damage. That's true. But orange does need like a follow up to this. Just a freezing trap kill command is not enough. I mean, the freezing trap is still really, really good, right? Because like uh, Frodan just That's spent true. four mana to develop his shredder. And what Orange can do, he can just go face and play, the, play that Freezing Trap and Froden cannot do anything about it, right? Like, oh. his his uh, Shredder is going to be just sapped, pretty much. The Arcane Golem is up perfect, fits the curve perfectly as well. He could just play it right now if he wants to. You do, right? Don't you just play it? Mm, you definitely play the Freezing Trap. I mean, you can play uh, the Hero Power if you want to. That way you don't give that one mana to your opponent, which can be somewhat inter important. We could also wow. kill Command. To to not go for it. I mean, the play only loses to, like, Unleash, right? Mm, yeah. Okay, against Unleash, you're pretty weak. Yeah. Later on, the Juggler Unleash, I suppose. So, Glaivezuka isn't the worst, but you're taking, a, like, a load of damage. Yeah, a pretty rough spot to be in for four then. Um, I mean, actually, to be honest, I feel like this is, like, so, so bad spot to be in. Like, can he even overcome this? Do right? you just go with Lothab and, like, hope to... Have your opponent on only spells? Maybe? You're, like, what are you banking on at this point? Like, how do you win from here? Frodo needs an unleash, basically. He, does, he doesn't want the Shredder to run into the Freezing Trap. Neither does he want to run... Uh, does, neither does he want to, the Lothap to run into the Freezing Trap, either. He needs some sort of charge minion in order to pop the Freezing Trap. Yeah, I actually think that, like, the best way to win this game maybe is, like, to play Warg and Hound Creeper. Frog the freezing with the Worgen, like get some juggles, you know, from the knife, uh, from the Hound Creeper next turn. How much but, damage uh, is this actually? Okay, no, now he plays Lothab. This is gonna hurt a lot. Oh, and wow. the, bow, uh, the bow is so strong as well. I mean, the thing for Orange is you're not scared of anything. Like, you can just go face. Like, mm -hmm. it doesn't matter at all. Yeah, it's, it's seven damage out of the hand right now. Yeah. So the kill command will be lethal alone. There's like no way that Froden comes back here. Yeah, even if the whole board and the weapon gets cleared, it's still like the comment lethal. <laughs> and there's absolutely no way Froden can deal uh, <laughs> 24 damage <laughs> to Orange right now. No, not at all. I mean, you can just Arcane Golem next turn. The like weapon is lethal itself, right? I mean, that's pretty much it. Yeah, I mean, at this point, it probably doesn't even matter what you what you do here, but yeah. I guess you maximize the damage either way. Might as well. Yeah, Shredder will not be of any use, and Orange will take this game. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> well, I mean, uh, what skin comes out from Shredder that could help you? I Absolutely guess? nothing. Right. Not even Vitality Totem helps. Mm. Yeah. Not even Annoyotron helps, actually. <laughs> nothing does. Okay. Yeah. I guess you go for it regardless. It's not the worst drop, but in this situation, it doesn't help at all. So, actually, Froden is losing the first game. His Hunter is going to be out of this uh, series, and... What what they ban? His Warrior? A lot of Warriors getting banned, man. Like, so many Warriors. Green Patron is still strong, man. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much always a Warrior or Paladin gets banned, depending on what your lineup fares worse against. That's true. All right, so what, what do we pick here? Like, we have a Druid left as Froden and uh, the Paladin, right? What would, you, what would you opt for? I think Froden plays the aggro druid, or does he play the mid-range one? I think it's mid-range. Mid-range. Yeah. Okay. And the paladin is secret, right? Oh, yeah. It's it's secret paladin. Like, none of those decks are really good against the hunter, but... Ooh. 
I think if you want to go, I would go for Druid, to be honest. Okay. I mean, Secret Paladin and this mid-range Druid, which he does pick here, mm. uh, both decks that you can always reverse sweep with, right? Druid, yeah. Doing the Druid things always works out. Yeah, the thing is with like with the Druid right now is that like it used to be kind of bad against the mid-range G versions, you know? Uh, but now that you have Darnas a sprint, like the matchup got much, much better. Uh, so it's it's pretty coin flippy, I think. Like, might as well yeah. just go with the Druid. And like, it can no, beat everything. Nothing better than freezing your own Darnas' as sprint. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we saw uh, the coin for the Hunter here. Not the worst hand for him. Innervate Shade's pretty good, though. Yeah, interesting that Froden uh, actually chose to keep the swipe. Yeah. yeah. I think he might. It's kind of a reactive card. I thought he might might want to choose go, uh, to up for to up for a more proactive start, especially because he had the innervate in hand. So, like, what do you think of the tiger in Hunter right now? Like, Orange pr plays this tiger. I think it's actually really strong uh, because tig tiger is better if you want to be faster, right? Because if you play the tiger, the only thing that can actually like uh, stop you from attacking with the tiger is like uh, Frost Nova or Blizzard, you know, those those spells. Uh, so if you play tiger on turn five, it's one turn earlier than high main, and or even turn four if you have a coin, right? Uh, that way you can definitely get those five damage in, uh, yeah. which is a lot important actually. Yeah, so often enough you can count stealth as um, uh, as a charge with one turn delay. Right, because your oh, opponent yeah. can't really re interact with it, like you couldn't with charge, but it's still, you still have to wait one turn. But like a 5-5 five, five charge for 5 mana is pretty good. Yeah, the damage comes in either way. All right. So play the Haunted Creeper here. Animal Companion next turn, or the bow. Um, What's this is kind of awkward to play, right? Like, uh, do you just, I think you just hero power face. Yeah, you have to, right? Yeah, the Riveling Shade is kind of... Not good as well because, like, if you reveal the shade, just kill command skills it, uh, eagle horn bow kills it, like, so much stuff kills it. So, this shade needs to grow a little bit if he wants to get like more value out of it. For sure, you get Leoc here, and that's pretty good for Froden because Froden actually can kill the Leoc. Uh, he still has like the three health there. Oh, he can actually, if he wants, he can just swipe here. It's yeah. probably definitely better. It right? is this perfect play right now. Oh, wow. or actually. Oh. I mean, if you pop your shade, you pretty much know it's going to die, so you might as well swipe, right? Yeah. Not necessarily. I mean, Orange would have to use, like, a bow or, or even kill command to, to in order to deal with it. He has the bow for, That's true. for him, but, yeah, he's, he's still, the shade's still going to do some work. Five damage to the face. It's not uh, it's not to be disregarded. I mean, any damage counts that the Druid can put to the Hunter's face because then eventually Force of Nature Savage Road will finish him off. That's true. Druid of the Claw looking pretty good, though. Yeah, definitely looking better than Azure Drake. Azure Drake would just die to the bow. Uh, so this four, uh, this six health or two, like two health difference is actually Ooh. really mattering. The high main draw, man. Yeah, the That's curve. Really sick. Mm. He can he can play the smaller high main this turn and then play the bigger <laughs> high main. The big daddy. Big daddy. Do you proc your scientist? Um, you get a freezing trap out of it probably, right? So yeah, you also have the bow set up, right, with a mm -hmm. passive charge. Yeah, I would I would go for it yeah. personally. Um, it it also thins out your deck that you like have a decreased chance of drawing the trap, which is not what you want. And also freezing that um, druid of the claw is not the bad thing because it's uh, not gonna see play next turn. Like uh, Froden cannot replay it next turn. Yeah, he does have a Drake though to fill that awkward turn six for druid. It's like removal turn unless you have Thoris on, right? Or some weird innervate play. Oh, with the force of nature though, he can actually. Play around it a little bit. Yeah, play do around you, the freezing trap. Do you want better. to use it though? I think you kind of might have to. You don't uh -oh. have to do it just yet. You could just go for Azure Drake. Yeah, you can just play Azure Drake and play the Force of Nature next turn. The problem with like the Force of Nature next turn is that like you cannot follow it up with the Wrath that you kind of want to do with the uh, Tiger on the board, right? That's and true. Yeah. It fits the curve better if you do it right now. Yeah, but however, the force of nature would not have like any good value right now. Instead of uh, only proking the freezing trap and like not attacking any minions, or yeah, you know, just four face damage is not good enough. Okay. okay. So he's thinking about juggle and leash here. Ah, uh, I think high man is just better, right? Yeah, right. You, you <laughs> have to go for it. <laughs> it's high man on six, man. It's green, right? And next turn you just dropped, uh, you just draw Doctor Boom and you're good. That's how you do it. Yeah. <laughs> I like the game plan there, Alex. <laughs> Uh, yeah. But does he see the play? 
I, I, like, he's definitely thinking about it. I mean, uh, you should think about all of your options, right? You can knife juggler, kill command, clear the whole board here. But high main is just high main. So there we, there it is. Actually, the second swipe would be kind of strong here. Um, but there's no swipe for throw down here. Mm -hmm. The keeper and of the growth pickup is actually also pretty good. Mm -hmm. so yeah, for sure. The time in. Yeah, I guess what you can do here is just like play the force of nature. You can s just rat and yeah, yeah, rat not do anything. Just like, keeper silence the high main uh, and play the force of nature next turn. It's still pretty good. Or might actually you might just get the keeper back to your hand. That's actually pretty good too. Yeah, I like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, besides you don't want to give your opponent bow charge necessarily right now. It's actually a big deal. Shredder pickup. Shredder... I mean, it doesn't do... I'm sure we're well. going to see it like a juggler unleash right now. Juggler unleash, um, then, yeah, he will be able to deal with one of those minions by using... Our oh, yeah, he's no. not going to go for the unleash, yeah. I guess. Yeah, Shredder seems a little bit stronger on the board right now. But what I maybe liked a little bit more was something like just Shredder, Kill Command, the Acid Drake, right? You would have the Shredder and High Main uh, on the board. It could be pretty strong. Mm -hmm. But I mean, on the other hand, he has the freezing set up, so uh, it's probably fine. I think I think for us, it looks better because we see that the Force of Nature is in a hand, right? So yeah. there's a way to proc it differently. Uh, but for him, uh, it makes sense not to play around the Force of Nature here. But, like, Force of Nature looks good here, right? I mean, do you care a lot about not having an extern with Savage Roy? I mean, what else are you going to do? Um, like, Asian of Lore doesn't do much. It doesn't do anything. Uh, Druid Claw, yeah, I guess you have well, to. Wow, what about this? What about, like, triggering the trap and charging Druid of the Claw with Savage Roar? <laughs> <laughs> so yellow. <laughs> Uh, I mean, you could do that. How much is that? It's eight damage, right? Oh, it's only eight. Okay. Yeah. If it were nine, that would have actually been like okay. Exactly. If if that would be nine, uh, you could put your opponent on fourteen health, and next turn you could force nature savage or. But the reason why it's not as good is uh, as you just said, right? Yeah. Um, it's only eight damage. Fifteen health. Uh, would be not enough uh, for for like he wouldn't be able to do that unless he would draw like innervate, which you can't really count for. Another bow picked up. Fernand did a really, really good job to play around those traps and not giving the one charge extra for uh, orange. That's true. It's getting a little dicey, though. It's mm. a lot of damage to face. Yeah, orange in a very secure spot right now. Froden has no way of um, dealing lethal here with the Force of Nature, even if even, even if Orange was at 14 health, there's still a Freezing Trap on the board. You have to combo regardless, right? Like how yeah, do you, you have to like you have to clear this board. Yeah, how do you else win? Yeah. But then then again, how do you win? Ancient of Lore with the heal might might buy you some time, but with the bow in hand, there's so much damage coming in for Orange as well. Exactly. What does he get? And a Kobold Geomancer. So, on the other hand, right, Orange's hand is kind of empty. Yeah, but so three damage is lethal, right? So. Yeah, I mean, if he doesn't draw it here, if it's not Huffer, and yeah. it's not, uh, you can Asian of Lore, heal yourself, get five more health, a hero power with it. I mean, if you draw another Asian of Lore, you might be able to crawl back into this game. Wait, can you stay alive here? Uh, yeah. Asian yeah, you can go to nine, right? Yeah, you can go to nine. So you'll be two damage. Uh, yeah. I mean, you might as well go for it, right? Yeah. Like, why not? Why not? Maybe there's something that uh, Frodo can draw off that wild growth. Uh, I guess a taunt is enough, right? Like I mean, taunt, yeah, taunt could be enough, but uh, we've seen already one to the claw to be played, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, you can Wild Grove anyway. Uh, since you have Innervate, you can still Asian of Lore after that with your hero power. Uh, so you'll be still able to get on 9 health. And 9 health is actually really different to, nine, uh, to 8. Because if you killed, uh, kill the Leoc, you'll be able with 1 hero power only to get, you know, 1 damage away from just hero power of the Hunter. So it might matter a little bit. 
Oh, uh, yeah. I, I would like actually to see the wild girl here, probably. Wow. Oh, goes okay. Fair. I like this, actually. Mm -hmm. It's a winning play. But oh, both of the villagers are gone, Yeah, right? exactly. So I'm actually not really sure, to be honest. But there comes oh, okay. the kill command, and it doesn't really matter. Wouldn't have mattered. Man, and Orange on fire right now in this series. 2 0 with the Hunter. It's pretty Just brutal. Faces. Only that Paladin left for Frodan. SM Orc. But he 3 0 with that previously, so he might be able to do it again. He might be. And yeah, what Fro I mean, Frodan is a secret Paladin right now, right? Yeah. yeah. So with secret Paladin, if you have a good curve, you know, you get those mini bots and stuff like that. Uh, it's pretty okay for you, but, you know, Unleash is really strong. Uh, Nave Juggler is pretty strong. Hound Creeper is pretty strong against you. Oh, wait. He plays Zombie Tron that. Wow, yeah. He that's plays like. Doesn't he play uh, Divine Favors as well? well? I actually have no idea. I think he might. And he plays a little piece. Is this actually mid ranger, maybe? Yeah, oh. It seems mid rangey. And this is a really, really good start. Like this wow, curve, curve, you have a zombie show, you have minibot, you have Alder Peacekeeper. I mean, you can play Alder Peacekeeper for tempo if you feel like it, and Shredder. This seems really, really good. Yeah, let's not forget that the players could actually submit two sets of decks, right? Like, round yeah. of 16 is the second set of decks, as we talked about previously, with uh, new cards also coming in from the first wing. So, of course, you could have changed to like a more mid rangey version. But There's yeah, with the Divine Favor that we see right now, it's more likely to be a secret paladin. Yeah. Just like more mid rangey version. Yeah. I mean, if if you play this kind of deck, uh, this deck is probably made to kill those aggressive decks, right? Because you play Zombie Tron, you still have uh, the Doctor Six. So uh, yeah, you got you got definitely. the good uh, you got the good Zombie Chow against um, aggro decks. You got Peacekeeper against uh, Fell Reavers and stuff like that. Uh, you have Divine Favor to beat control decks fairly easily. So yeah, overall a very well-rounded deck, I would say. Are you even happy about Huffer here? Um, I mean, it's four damage face, right? <laughs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> nah, I, I think like, something like Misha would be definitely preferable here. Yeah. Um, wow, Misha would have been sick. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, what, Orange, what Orange really wants to see at some point of the game is a juggler to combine with that uh, Unleashed Downs and maybe some one, uh, one or two of those one drops. Shredder placement, man. So good. Yeah. Oh, man, so many one drops in Orange's hand. What is this? Poker? <laughs> <laughs> Two yeah. pair. Two pair. Two pair. That's pretty strong. Unfortunately, you can't make full house on this since you play duplicate, right? Yeah. I was just waiting for the consecration top deck right there. <laughs> so here you can play something like Blessing of Kings uh, for your mini bot. You can kill one of probably the owl uh, with your hunt creeper. That way you have the one ones to you know contest those uh, leopard gnomes there. And you're still putting more damage on phase than the Hunter is, so... Yeah, exactly. The earlier you start, like, uh, the Blessing of Kings right now and just go to the phase races so well and um, Orange, I mean, the Hunter in general doesn't have a way, uh, an easy way to deal with this. Freeze trip, there's Freezing Trap, but... His hand against this actually isn't too horrible, right? I mean, like, Unleash double abusive? Yeah, that's still actually, yeah, that's actually insane, right? You clear the board, kinda? Yeah. yeah. And you still have one Doggy and one Leper Gnome on the board. Uh, so that's that's pretty good. You also have that tiger to like follow up next turn. Yeah, that's decent, right? Or just draw high man, man. Just draw high man. Okay, so one leper now will dispose of that buffed mini bot, and he also respects spiderlings. So consecration or bust. And this Ouch. is not in consecration. I mean, wow. Uh, you might as well go for Alder. Like, are you, you afraid? Have to. I think you have to go for Alder, right? Like, but what if the high main comes down next turn? Can you play around it? Your opponent has one card in hand. Yeah, you I might guess have you to, actually. Mm. I mean, Tyrion is a definitely good pickup, but it will take you know a few more turns before it can that comes on the board. Yeah. He's going to take a lot more damage. Mm. Something now, like Belcher would be preferable. You know, Froden is really looking for a juggler as well, maybe. Like Juggler along with the Spiderling, um, the Haunted Creeper, like when it dies, it will deal so much damage to, those, to this board. Hmm. But yeah, Froden right now need, needs it badly. Juggler or Consecration or he's in a really tough spot. Yeah, for sure. 
Okay, so... Shredder. Nothing like that for him. Yeah, and here we see once again the power of the Strangleton Tiger, the stealth, making it untargetable for that uh, Alter Peacekeeper. Yeah. Definitely better than Highman at this point. Um, so, what, how much damage is that next turn? That's something like uh, 7, 8, 10, 13. He needs only two more damage to do this. And Arcane Glum will oh do my that. God, and this is it. Orange will Damn. win this group. And he goes to. Oh, and Froden will have one more chance to actually go through to round of top 8. Yeah. I mean, very fast series, like 3-0. I wasn't expecting this, to be honest. That was blazing fast, man. Yeah, for real. I mean, like, really fast. You just smork. You just smork, smork. And smork. I mean, that's the power of the Hunter right there. The Hunter is still a very strong contender in the current meta game, and, um, yeah, it, it can be pretty much beat anything so, uh, with the right draws. With the right draws. I mean, that Tiger actually coming in pretty well right there. Yeah, for sure. And now we're going to have Orange here for an interview. What's up, Orange? Congratulations on your win. Oh, thank you. SM Orc, dude. <laughs> Always works, right? Yeah, well, Hunter's a good deck. It's, I just wanted to bring a deck that had, like, high uh, free win potential to last her standing at. Seems like it's working. Okay, so uh, we are really liking uh, the pickup of the uh, Strangleton uh, Tiger uh, in your deck, right? Um, why did you play this card, and, like, what do you think about this card right now? I uh, can't really hear it. Did you ask about Strangleton Tiger? Tiger? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Strangleton Tiger. Um, I think it's, like, one of the most underrated cards in the game, actually, Strangleton Tiger. It's... Uh, it's been a card, like a pet card of mine in Hunter for a very long time. I think it does uh, a lot of a lot of things for the deck. Just gives you that. Lofib is like one of the most powerful cards in Hybrid Hunter, and Stranglestor Tiger is really good at doing a good Lofib impression. Uh, also, in my lineup when I was building it, I knew that I needed help against Rogue, and Stranglestor and Tiger is a really, really, really good card against Rogue. So I want to fit one into the Hunter. Yep. Oh, okay. So uh, that was like a really fast series, blazing fast, as Ecop said. Yeah, uh, and with this dominant victory, you guaranteed yourself a spot in top eight. The first competitor to be in top eight right now. Oh yeah, it, that that is feels incredible. I mean, second time in a row now. So, yeah. so I mean, how do you feel about your odds of actually going back to back Seed Story Cup winner? Uh, sorry, I couldn't hear. How do you feel about like getting the next Seed Story Cup win back to back? Uh, <laughs> I, I mean, mean, potentially, yeah. Potentially. I mean, that would. Uh, is what I'm aiming for, but like realistically, I didn't think that, that 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 could happen. But now we're getting closer. Yeah, really close, actually. I mean, only seven people left next to you after this, so that's pretty good. I mean, you were down zero one in groups, right? Yeah, uh, just as in last seed story, I so far I lost the first uh, the first match in the entire tournament, and then last seed story didn't lose a single one after that. Wow. And uh, I hope to repeat that. Like that would be this sick. Seat, sorry. That would be sick. Is there anybody like in particular that you're scared of? Um, our left in the tournament. Uh, all of my, I, I know that both my teammates have done a lot of preparation. Both Soleil and uh, Firebat. Uh, Purple and Stan Sifka are also like two players that I really, really, really respect. And uh, Freaky, as like, I, I know that he also did a lot of preparation and has a very solid lineup. So those are like probably the players that I'm the most scared of. Okay. So yeah, once again, congratulations, Thanks. and uh, see you in top eight. Yeah, see you tomorrow, definitely. Yeah, for sure. So uh, yeah, no more questions for Orange, I guess. So that means that we're through with the winners' match. Obviously, we have the losers' match coming up in just a second. So uh, yeah, don't go anywhere, guys. We're gonna